This is Joe recording for WP Mayor and today we're looking at the Tooltip Glossary Pro plugin from Creative Minds. This is a premium plugin and today we're looking at the Pro Plus version which is the most feature rich option available. Now this plugin allows you to build a glossary, encyclopedia or dictionary of terms that you use in your WordPress posts. Now this is a great plugin for someone who writes on technical topics and has content that features a lot of acronyms, jargon, abbreviations and terms that general readers might not be familiar with. So instead of explaining these terms each time you use them in your posts you can cr quickly create a glossary item for that term, provide your custom description and the plugin will automatically link any instance of that term that are used in your posts to the corresponding glossary item. So let's start off by taking a look at the front end of the plugin and what changes it makes to your site and what the user experience is. So this is a post I've created and in the post are a couple of glossary items that I've created earlier. So choice is one word that I've ad added to the glossary and WordPress is another word and you can see that the plugin has turned every instance of those terms into links and they're highlighted with a dotted underline which is separate to the link decoration. So if we hover over them we can see that they're links and if we click on one of them it takes us to the glossary item for that term and here you can see this is the page from the glossary and it's got my custom description that I've written here and it's also got some related articles which are other posts or pages on your site that also feature this glossary term. So if we click on back to the glossary index we can see a list of all the glossary items that have been created. So, so far there's only two and one abbreviation but you can see if you did have a lot of glossary terms it would be easy for your users to navigate them by using this menu here and they can also search through the glossary for any specific terms. So let's take a look at the back end and see how you go about adding terms to your glossary. So if we log into our WordPress admin area and from the dashboard if you scroll down you can find the menu item for the CM Tooltip Glossary Pro plugin and if you have a look at the glossary we can see these are the entries that I've created so far and if we click on edit we can see just how easily it is to create one and as they, the plugin uses custom post types the edit glossary item screen looks very familiar to the standard WordPress post editor screen it's got a few extra meta boxes which include abbreviations so here I've entered WP which is an abbreviation sometimes used for WordPress and we can write synonyms and variations such as the singular and plural of our term and once you've entered your title and glossary definition you can click update to save that glossary term so once you've created a glossary term each time that word is used in a post or page on your site the plugin will turn it into a link which when clicked will take the user directly to that glossary term but if we look at the settings we can configure how it works and if you see the main settings page there is quite a lot here to work through there's a large number of tabs and each tab has its own set of options so this might seem a bit overwhelming at first but out of the box you don't really have to change any of these settings for the plugin to work and it's only once you want to change certain things that you can come in and have a look around at the settings and they are all divided up quite nicely so some of them you might never need to look at while others you can visit frequently so if we look at the main settings one option is to highlight the first term occurrence only so if we look at our example post
this is a post that contains a few different glossary terms and if you look here you can see it contains WordPress twice so each instance of the word WordPress has been turned into a link back to the glossary but if we select this option to highlight the first term only and then save the changes refresh the page for the changes to take effect you'll see that only the first instance of that glossary term has been turned into a link so this is good if you've got a long article which contains a lot of terms you don't want every other word turned into a link just the first occurrence of it from the options there's another feature which can be enabled which isn't turned on by default and that is to display tooltips so if we go to the tooltip content submenu and check this option which will show tooltips when the user hovers over the term so if we turn that on and save the changes go back to our post hit refresh now you can see that every time a user hovers over a dictionary or glossary definition they'll see the explanation displayed in a tooltip so this means they can get a understanding of a word without actually clicking on it and going through to the glossary so it's a good way of preventing them from visiting too many pages on your site just to understand the content you've written so there's a few settings for creating tooltips so if we go back to the tooltip content options and scroll down we can see that we can limit the length of the tooltip so if you've got long definitions and descriptions for your glossary terms you can limit them by entering a set number of characters and then the, the plugin will insert a read more link into the tooltip and another option is to avoid passing protected tags so if you've got a, a glossary term inside your heading or inside a link then you can ensure that tooltips are not displayed in those instances. So those were the basic features of the CM Tooltip Glossary Pro Plus plugin. Now there's also some advanced features so let's take a look at those. So if we go to the settings page and then one good feature is the Merriam-Webster API which allows you to connect up with the Merriam-Webster dictionary and if you check this box and enter your API key and save changes the plugin will actually connect up to the Merriam-Webster dictionary and use their definitions of the words so if you create a glossary term you don't even have to write your own descriptions and definitions the plugin will handle that for you so if we go to the glossary and have a look at an item this is one that I created and that is the description and definition that I wrote and this is the one that it's imported from the Merriam-Webster online dictionary so this is a great way to make your definitions more comprehensive and add a lot more value to your readers while also saving you some time now another advanced feature which is interesting is the Google Translate API which allows you to connect your glossary with the Google Translate service so once this is enabled and you've entered your API key which you will need to pay for to get access to you can set your source language which is the language you're writing your content in and the language you like your glossary definitions to be translated to and once this is enabled and turned on your glossary definitions will now be translated into your target language so this is a great tool to have at your disposal if you're blogging about language learning or you have international readers and it's a great great way to enhance your blog again if you're managing a site with a large glossary then another advanced feature which will be of interest to you is the glossary replacement tool and this is basically 
a search and replace tool which allows you to enter a word you'd like to search in your glossary and then the word you'd like to change it to so it carries out a find and replace through all your glossary definitions and makes the changes so this can save you a lot of time if you need to change any specific words as it prevents you going into each definition and glossary page so that's a very useful feature to have at your disposal another advanced feature is the ability to embed audio files now these audio files can be embedded into the glossary term pages to provide further content to your definitions so these are also displayed in the tooltips so when a user hovers over a word they can get the option to listen to an embedded audio file so this is great for providing assistance and guidance on pronunciation of words and also adding any voice notes to your definitions with this plugin it's also possible to import and export a list of terms and their definitions this can be done via a CSV file so if you've been keeping a list of terms that you use frequently elsewhere perhaps in a spreadsheet you can save that file as a CSV and then import it into your site so that will save you a lot of time as you won't need to manually go through and create each glossary item and if you do change sites or need to collaborate with someone you can easily export all your glossary terms via CSV again saving you a lot of time also it's worth pointing out that the plugin comes with a few widgets now these allow you to add a few elements to your sidebars and if we look on the home page we can see this is an example of one and this is the glossary search widget so this allows users to search through all the different terms in your glossary without needing to be on the index glossary index page and there's also another widget for your sidebar which will display random terms from your glossary so this also has the tooltip enabled should you choose to use that and each time the page is loaded a different set of random terms will be selected and the options for the widget allow you to select a number of terms to show in that sidebar widget there are also some post level options that come with this plugin and these allow you to override the global settings for the plugin at post level so if we edit a post in WordPress and if we look up here we can see that there's a meta box for the tooltip plugin so these allow you to turn off the functionality of the plugin for this particular post so if we check all these don't show tooltips on this post page and don't show links to glossary terms on the post page and turn these on as well and update the post and then view the post we can see that where it contains glossary terms such as WordPress and choice that I created earlier these are no longer linking to the terms in the glossary and the tooltips aren't displaying so now this is showing and functioning as a regular WordPress post as if the plugin hadn't been installed so if you want to turn it off for an individual post it's very easy when it comes to support and documentation this plugin is well catered for while the plugin is relatively easy to get started with there's plenty of documentation on hand to help you get the most out of the advanced features if you're a purchaser of the pro version such as the standard pro and the pro plus plugin which we're looking at today you get access to the basic support so this means that the team will answer all of your questions regarding the plugin fix any bugs that are related directly to the plugin and they'll usually answer your queries within 24 hours during business hours so you can just submit a support request and they'll get back to you within 24 hours now there's also a priority support and if you pay for this and you'll pay for it on a per job basis 
you'll get access to the team who will give you support with issues related to the plugin but not directly caused by them so this will be things like conflicts with themes or conflicts with other plugins and again your questions will be answered within 24 hours so if we click on the view support priority page we can get a better sense of what this gives you access to so for $29 they'll adjust your site's theme and the other option is to add a feature to the plugin so for $150 they'll do some custom development work for you and add a feature to the plugin so it's definitely worth contacting the development team if you feel that this is a useful plugin but maybe lacks one or two features which would make it something that could really help you because they do offer this service so it's worth getting in touch to find out if they can help you now when it comes to pricing for the plugin there are three options available and as you can see there's a free version which contains a few features there's the pro version and there's the pro plus version which is what we've been looking at today and amongst the features there's multi-site support the ability to change the appearance of the tooltips google translate integration uh, the sidebar widgets and the ability to embed audio into glossary items and the ability to insert glossary items anywhere into the site using short codes there's also the Miriam Webster online dictionary integration and the search and replace engine is another advanced feature so as you can see the feature list is very extensive and when we get to the prices for just $39 for the fully featured Pro Plus version this plugin represents great value after using the plugin for some time I'd have to say that it's a great choice for anyone looking to add a glossary to their site if you find yourself adding the same terms to your posts and explaining their meanings explaining what the acronyms stand for and abbreviations when writing and this plugin is a great way to save time while writing and also making your content more accessible to your readers the plugin is very well executed it's easy to use the admin interface is pretty well designed it doesn't use the standard WordPress native UI but it's very close and despite having lots of features they're pretty well organized so it's not too overwhelming and out of the box you can get using it straight away and start adding terms to your glossary so I definitely recommend this plugin if you feel that your site would be enhanced by adding a glossary and if you want to get the full details of this product and read the in-depth review head over to wpmare.com and this post will be available your consideration. Thank you.